In this video, I will discuss how to use melatonin. Let's start with when to take melatonin. Take melatonin one hour before you want to be asleep. You can take melatonin with or without food, but it is better with food as it somewhat slows the release. Melatonin absorption is aided by taking it with a meal that has fats. Melatonin very easily dissolves in fat, and it is also somewhat hydrophilic, so it somewhat dissolves in water. Also, melatonin is naturally produced by the gastrointestinal tract following a big meal, so taking it with food is more in tune with natural release. Melatonin readily crosses the blood-brain barrier, and its half-life is 20 to 90 minutes, but its effects take longer to wear off. Melatonin dosages should be adjusted based on your reaction to it. I tend to use higher dosages because of lower natural production. But others do very well with dosages as low as 0.1 mg. Interestingly, the lethal dose of melatonin could not be determined. Dosages as high as 6,600 mg per day were tested for 30 to 45 days and no toxicity could be determined. Only drowsiness was reported which is just another word for sleepiness. In contrast, the typical dosage for melatonin is 3 mg, so less than 2,200 times less than was tested. The effects of melatonin supplementation after 3 months showed no change from its effects after 1 week of use. This is in contrast to other sleep medications which require increasingly higher dosages. Once you find your ideal melatonin dosage, just stick with it. I have been using the same melatonin dosages for over 3 years, and they continue to work just as well. I advise against using any sort of slow-release forms because they tend to make you groggy in the morning, but for some people, slow-release is better because it helps them stay asleep for the whole night. In the case of supplementation for sleep induction, more is not necessarily better. This is because dosages in the 1 to 5 mg range produce blood levels that are higher than the normal peaks. The most common dosage for inducing sleep is 3 mg. You can use higher dosages, such as 9 mg, if you want to make a rapid change. For example, if you are used to going to bed at 2 or 3 in the morning and you would like to be asleep at 11 o'clock, then take 9 mg at 10 o'clock. The thing is, if you are relatively rested, you may find yourself naturally waking up at 5 or 6 in the morning. But if you are sleep deprived, you will likely sleep around 9 hours and wake up extremely rested. Even with melatonin supplementation, it is important to sleep in total darkness. This is because your body starts to lower blood levels of melatonin whenever blue wave light hits your eyes. This causes you to wake up. If you take melatonin during the day without covering your eyes, it will not help you fall asleep. It will just make you drowsy. The main idea is, if you want to sleep well, then take melatonin and cover your eyes. In this video, you have learned how to use melatonin. Melatonin is a part of my essential nutritional supplement stack. If you want to see which are the products I personally use, then go to damianalexander.com slash melatonin. If you want to learn more about critical nutritional supplements, life extension, and disease prevention, then subscribe to my YouTube channel at Damian Alexander's Vids. Lastly, discover the easiest and shortest way to double physical and mental energy, strengthen immunity, and restore health by visiting howtochangeyourownbatteries.com.